Well, hello again from Kingston. Here we are again, finishing a busy week and looking forward to the activity next week. Thanks for watching this. Let me know in the comments below if it's what you expect. And please consider subscribing. I'll see you later. Here's a view on Monday of spans 21 and 22. There's quite a bit of rebar work remaining. Running west along the steel spans, things are looking pretty good, with just a couple of platforms from the west overlook to be removed. The expansion joint at Pier 12 awaits fitting, and there's some concrete to be poured on spans 15 to 17. As we go through the week, you'll see a lot of change. Gravel continues to be removed from the temporary causeway. Mulrooney trucking play a large part in moving it to the east laydown. Where it's set to form the base for a large holding pond. The rental equipments that arrived the week before have been working it steadily. Although no concrete was poured this week, the washout on the west end was cleared. The team, comprised of Bar Construction and John's Grading Services, continues to play an important role in drainage and other work on the west end. including work on areas right alongside Montreal Street. And right alongside them this week, the team from Sousa Redimix appeared to place forms for new sidewalks. On the east end, sharp landscaping and construction have moved an awful lot of topsoil this week. Their work has considerably benefited the area. Persistent rain on Tuesday had absolutely no effect on their ongoing work of planting trees. The results speak for themselves and are a credit to the company. Other work on the East End this week included the introduction of traffic signal arms on the poles at Point St Mark Drive by Black and MacDonald and the installation of new road signs by Beacon Light. Work this week by the amazing iron workers of Armateur Boisfront was just intense. There were several lifts of reinforcing rod onto spans 21 and 22. Every lift requires careful preparation, very careful rigging, and the closest possible cooperation between the crane operators and the iron workers. The safety and well-being of all concerned leaves absolutely no margin for error. And once it's on the span, every piece is manually placed and secured. By week's end, work on span 21 was well advanced and a rather good start had been made on span 22. On even the wettest of days, considerable effort is going into removal of supporting brackets on the exterior of the spans. Every day of fine weather is a real bonus. The supports for the overlooks are a special case. However, work went very well this week. The delicate and potentially dangerous operation progressed steadily. Here's one of the platforms coming down. Once safely secured on the barge, it's motored round to be lifted onto the causeway. 
after a great deal of effort by a very capable crew, the overlooks were clear by Thursday. Friday was a rather special day as the LR 1200 made her way to the west end of the trestle. There, using a spreader bar for the first time in ages, preparations were made to remove the first sections of trestle permanently. After many, many months in place and the passage of some traffic, some resistance was understandable. But the result was never in serious doubt. Five sections would be removed before the week drew to a close. As we prepare to head for wildlife, let's just catch up with what's happening at Pier 12. Monday saw the expansion joint lifted into place. This is likely just the first of several test fits. Well, that's another busy week come to a close. Lots to look forward to next week, including a lot of concreting, I suspect. And uh, if you enjoy this, please hit the like and please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.